Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker, the release version, episode 56. I did some looting and was heading back to the uh, capital when Bald Hill became active again. So we need to get there. And that, I did find one really strange item. The grim finale it was on one of just hanging from one of the weapon racks in the village. It's basically a plus two um, club that does a vampiric touch whenever you critical, but every time you unequip it, it uh, casts finger of death on you. So I think we're going to sell that one. <laughs> but it is an interesting weapon, and I've been ambushed twice by cultists on the way back. So we. Definitely need to get to here. So let us travel. Yeah, yeah, I know the kingdom's got something, but we got to get to Bald Hill. I have a feeling it's going to be something a lot more dangerous than um, spiders this time. Considering the cultists have had owl bears with them. So it's definitely gotten more dangerous out here. I wonder if I should buff. Well, the portal's definitely active again. Treant. Quick bore. Okay, so let's go ahead and haste. Berserk. Prayer. Sense vital. Divine power. Sorry, you don't have anything special to do. Go, people, go. Okay, you need to move up here, obviously, and let's see, you, throw that on it, whoops. Whatever a lost sister is called. This must be the main bad guy here. And it looks like... Blind. 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 You don't look blind, I don't think. Because doesn't blind show up on this screen? No. What screen does... Oh, it does show up here. Okay. And you, are you blind? So neither of the animals are blind, at least. Another amulet and a masterwork dagger. So that leaves the boar. Ooh, it's a plus two amulet. We can use plus twos. We should move. Oh, 
Okay. So remove blindness is second. Or third. I think it's third. Yep, third level. One, two, three. Is there nowhere flat enough? After what they did to Ekans village, I could tear them apart with my teeth. Torak, bless you, Amiri. You know how revenge is forged. Apparently, we are in big trouble. Did I go over the date? No. But apparently, if we don't do stuff on a regular basis... I have four people blind, not three. Well, the others are going to have to wait, because obviously stuff has gone really, really wrong. Listen, aren't you tired of all this? Expeditions, battles, constant blood and dirt, and worse yet, ambassadors, advisors, and giving orders? Let's just run away, abandon all this. They aren't children. They'll figure it out without you. We'll go to Absalon. I've always wanted to see it, or no, even further, beyond the sea, the or Orseron, or Kalapesh. Just you and I. What about Ragnar? We'll take him with us. We're all run. Are you serious? Just abandon everyone and leave? Well, sure. Who could stop us? You're joking, right? I'm not. I guess I... Pr I'm not sure. I guess I probably am. We can't let everyone down, can we? But you know what? Maybe later when all this is over, maybe we really will run away. Think of it. Okay, so let's see what's horrible that's happening at the... There was probably some event I had to do something about that would have prevented all the people from getting eaten. So, I probably screwed the pooch on that one. Okay. So let's go here to the throne room. Well, let's go actually go to the tavern first. Because then we can end the quest with the mother. Make sure that her little one got home safely. We still need to go to Candleware, but that may be on hold for a while. Because we can't have huge creatures eating all of our citizens. We won't have any citizens left. And I forgot to throw the spells. At least I can throw the one on me. Adventures await. Okay. I'm not blind anymore. Can we throw... S can we throw spells on them when they're here? Let's find out. <laughs> yes, we can throw spells on them when they're in town. Or in the tavern, at least. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, let's see. There she is. Oh, your grace, our deliverer, you saved him. You rescued my little one. 
What would we ever do without you? Every day until the day I die, I will pray to all the gods for your health. Plus three loyalty, which negates the three I lost for letting my people get eaten. Okay, so that quest is finally done. Yay! So let's get out, leave the tavern. And we're loading. There we go. So let's go here and sell. Because we got a bunch of junk from the cultists. Oh, both of them are going this time. No, they're taking different routes. So let's sell all that non-magical and boom. That's a lot of money. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this. So we got Bound Thunder, which is a trident, which will go to me. And we are definitely going to sell that. We do not want that. <laughs> So we have plus two armor, plus one armor, plus one armor, plus one hide armor. We'll sell the hide armor. Cloak of Shadows, plus ten to all stealth checks, immunity to blindness and dazzling. That one we're probably going to give to you. Okay. And since we're on the way over here, let's go ahead and see if I can use my last remove blindness on Valerie here. We should move. There we go. Now let's go take care of business. Josia, spare me a few minutes. You're the ruler of these lands, and I don't tell you dare tell you what to do, but I just can't stand silently and watch what's happening behind your back. There are rumors of the streets of a savage godness, enraged by your appearance in her lands. They say she cursed you, and now you bring woe and death to everyone around you. This used to be just idle talk, but now, when we're surrounded by so much death and suffering, the people are ready to truly believe it, and it seems that someone is playing upon your subjects' fears. I see balkers in the streets telling citizens of a prophet who is building his own kingdom. According to them, the goddess stands ready to grant forgiveness to any who cleanse themselves of the curse. But this cleansing is accomplished through a terribly cruel death. These horrific deaths involve a wild beast appearing from inside your body and they think it's a blessing. That insane old man, Remus, he also spoke of some goddess. True, Job told me of that preacher. Who knows, maybe his words touch people more deeply than you imagine. 
What is this kingdom the prophet is building? I only heard fragments of conversation. I think it's not a kingdom exactly, more like a community or a cult. I'm afraid we'll need to find out one of these find one of these barkers and ask them if we wish to find out more. It's absurd and dangerous for people to consider death a blessing. We must get to the bottom of this. Good. Perhaps after uncovering this mystery, we shall find out more about the nature of the curses hanging over the stolen lands. I mean, there must be a reason these cultists shout about you receiving the goddess's punishment. If we wish to understand, we must find one of those barkers and learn from them all we can. Sadly, these street preachers scare quite easily and avoid our guards. I'll begin my search without delay. When you find him, look for me on the streets of the capital. When you find time, look for me on the streets of the capital. I hope that when we meet, I will have already found someone who can tell us about this strange goddess and her followers. Okay, so that's not good news. So well, let's go manage kingdom affairs. We got that one. And it looks like I'm going to have to assign you because you are the only one available. We have one new project. Requires 45 days to solve, though. So we will have to hold off on that. So let's skip one day. Well, no, let's not skip. Let's go ahead and sleep. Get some rest out of it and then see if that gets us over to the next day. Okay, to bed. gains power and a way to report. So we should have our report. <coughs> Greetings, Baroness. Let's not beat around the bush. You and I simply must discuss taxes. Taxes? I don't know how often you go to the Treasury, but I go quite often indeed as my service requires. Well, there is less and less money in your coffers, which while the demands of the barony keep growing, we simply must raise taxes, whether your subjects like it or not. If I were you, I would raise the tax moderate, modestly. Of course, the treasury will not be replenished quickly, but people will curse you significantly less, which means you may remain on the throne significantly longer. We will raise the taxes by one-third. I think that will be a fair solution. It does my heart good to see how reasonable and patient you can be. Believe me, in such a situation, this is the very best possible decision. So we got minus one community, minus two loyalty, but plus three to economy. I really don't like raising taxes with everything else going on, but hey, you do what you have to do.
Okay, so we got plus one community, plus one military, and plus four economy because I sent him. So economy hopefully will go up again soon. I don't know what the tax increase actually helps our build points any, but Okay, so that one's taken care of. Took care of that one. We have a new thing. We can support our treasure's endeavors. We don't have time to do that now because we need to take care of these current quests. So I think stuff is sort of under control for the moment, mostly. So let us go find Tristan now that we've uh, sleep so I can A, cure his uh, blindness, and B, we can go searching for the Barker. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, actually, before we do that, because otherwise I'll forget. Let's see if that gives us enough to complete this one. I should look online and see if there's a document on these. I think there is, but... I brought you some relics. Are any worthy of a story? How interesting. May I, Your Grace? Ah, what is this? I hear the voices of trees. Smell the... Scent of fresh leaves. A dryad mark, is it not? I would be happy to purchase from you. A soldier does not ask where the banners of war are headed. He or she goes to battle, dies, and leaves it to others to decide whether the cause was just. This tag belonged to one of many warriors who helped establish the glory of the Talden Empire. If you would permit me, I would gladly purchase it from you. You have a lot of money. I found these shards of an artifact. May I? These shards were once part of the Forest Knight's bracers. I'd be honored to restore the artifact for you. The bracers would serve you well for a long time, and we would uncover the story. If you manage to collect all the shards and bring them to me. Remember me, should you find anything noteworthy. I leave you to your legends till we meet again. So, obviously I still don't have enough. Do, 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 do. I don't think I can click on them. Oh yeah, I can click on them here too. Let's throw one of the extra ropes in here because we don't need it. Okay, I think we're fine on everything else. Okay, let's leave. And we're loading. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this trident I've carried since the beginning and replace it with this magic trident. Trident's a two-handed weapon. No, it's a one-handed weapon. So, that looks good. That's right. I don't have one because I can't use one. 
So let's go ahead. You have a plus two already. You have a plus two already. You have a plus two already. You have the nymph's gift. And you have a plus one. And we also wanted to swap out your cloak of resistance for the cloak of shadows. Okay, that looks good. So you get one of these and one of these just because you're the next one in the party. And you get one of these. And you get one of these. So there we go. Okay, now let's find Tristan. I think he's down here. I think. Thought he was down here. Apparently I'm wrong. God's right here. I thought Tristan was near John. <laughs> Apparently I'm wrong. So let's go over here. Maybe he's over here. I like the fact the symbol says there's a tavern, but that's not the tavern. There's the... This is an NPC that you can actually buy healing from. Which I don't think I've ever dealt with. Okay, I seem to have forgotten where Tristan is. No stopping now. Well, Tristan should actually show up, even if not in visual range, if I remember right. So it'll make it easier to find them. There he is. Okay, so first of all, before we do that, let's go ahead. We should move. And uh, throw the remove blindness on you. You'll probably be much more successful at finding people if you're not blind. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Tristan's forehead is wrinkled as if the priest is deeply puzzled. We are luckily have met you. Meet Amelia, loyal follower of the Kingdom of the Cleansed. Do you remember? We recently been discussing this unusual initiative. Amelia was so kind as to tell me everything that she and her friends are doing. Please stay another moment. It would be a pleasure for me to tell you about our kingdom. What are you holding? These are invitations to our meeting. Here, take one. We meet at sunset in the appointed place, far from the city and its filth, and closer to the goddess and her kingdom. This is where the first faithful conducts sacraments for all who wish to receive their wisdom of our patron. So what have you been discussing? I've been asking how Amelia came to the kingdom. What attracted her to this this teaching? I There is someone in my family who followed the goddess commandments. Soon I myself will enter the kingdom, and I hope that through loyal service and veneration I will prepare myself for the main test, which I have yet to endure. 
And your family doesn't mind that this will happen to you? Are they ready to sacrifice you to their goddess? Of course they are. To be one of the chosen, one of the cleansed, is a great honor for each of us. But you are so young. Why hurry to leave this world before you experienced it in full? It is wrong to think about yourself. Once I wanted to live in Restoff, wear dresses, and walk down boulevards. But then those terrible things started happening. So many people in a village died. The goddess teaches that, that selfishness leads to trouble. Now my only wish is to serve the kingdom and the goddess. What did you find out about the kingdom, Tristan? The kingdom of the cleanse is a brotherhood of those who believe in the great goddess, who promise salvation return for cleansing. Forgive me, Amelia, if I'm missing any important details. Our mission is saving innocent souls from the curse that falls upon the heads of the un undeserving. The goddess is ready to guard from evil anyone who kisses the ground and begs for mercy. Those who have rejected their sinful ways may enter the kingdom of the cleanse and pray for their speedy deliverance from the worldly torments. <coughs> to give you life for the goddess isn't the greatest honor any of us can receive, and destroying the false ru ruler isn't the truest destiny of all nature's loyal servants. Does your goddess have a name? Yes, but only the first faithful know it. He is the high priestess to whom the goddess appeared. He deserves her, delivers her commandments and shows us her will. Though she lays open her design to clear the tormented ground, sending signs and opening doors to her creatures through the bodies of mortals. What false ruler are you talking about? The Baroness cursed by the goddess. She is the source of all our woes. She cast aside natural law and vandalized the field and storm. You have been brainwashed, girl. Don't worry, the time will come when you come to understand that the first faithful was right. I hope it won't be long when you and I will reunite in the embrace of the goddess. Tell me about this deliverance from worldly torments. In having this world where unhappiness and unfairness multiply, taints the soul and turns it from the internal kingdom of freedom and love granted by the goddess. But you can cleanse your sins by accepting her gift, a special goddess that sets the cleansed apart. Goodness. Goodness. What goodness could hide in a painful death? Not everyone is capable of withstanding the test because the way to cleansing through bodily torment but those who overcome their passions and prove their loyalty become the womb of the goddess to bear her children, wild and beautiful as herself. The soul of the cleansed rests in the hands of the goddess. Are you aware that I am the very same baroness who you are condemning? You? It can't be. You're so polite, and Sir Tristan could hardly be friends with a dreadful creature as the cursed baroness. Enough. Very well, but if you wish to know anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. We must go. I have to go, too. I need to get to the other side of the city. I am hope to see you at our meeting. And you, too, Sir Tristan. So long, Amelia. May the good goddess save you. A meeting at the appointed place. There are even directions how to get there. It looks like it's time we visit this sacrament. What do you think awaits us at the meeting? Whatever awaits this mysterious first faithful will be there. Judging by his title, he's the one who invented this insane kingdom. I believe that talking to him will solve many of the riddles we face. Will you come with me to the meeting? I would insist on participating in this investigation. I cannot let you go alone after I dragged you into this strange affair. Amelia looked at you very fondly, don't you think? You distract us from our goal. Is something wrong? I worship Sorin myself, but my faith has little in common with the faith of these cultists. They fill the heads of innocent children with Perseless and dangerous ideas 
I think they meant to say perilous and dangerous ideas which they cannot fully understand. We have to go, Tristan. Okay, so it's off to a meeting we go. And we're beyond the wrap-up point. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958 and have fun gaming. <laughs>